You don't have to be a star to be part of the show. How a small business can get its product placed in movies and on TV. That's coming up next on Your Business. JJ Ramberg and welcome to Your Business, where we give you tips and advice to help your business grow. Now, it's no secret that big businesses spend big bucks to get their products into Hollywood films. What's not as well known is that hundreds of small businesses are also getting their products into those features, but for peanuts. There's a Wesley Snipes movie where he's playing an assassin, and there's a sexy woman. She spends the whole movie handcuffed to a Jody Money card, supposedly with a bomb in it. Well, Oscar Mayer wouldn't allow that, probably, because they don't want to be associated. But me, the big explosion is what I'm about. Hot dog! Don't mean maybe you ought to see my baby at the hot dog stand. Fast food entrepreneur Jordan Moncarsh creator and owner of Los Angeles-based Jody Maroney's Sausage Kingdom, is a master of product placement. We've been in TV shows, movies. Uh, I think one of the first movies we were in was Clueless, and uh, millions of people have seen that. Uh, the first Ocean's Eleven, Brad Pitt's eating a, a, a Jody Maroney sausage. He's eaten the whole movie. Jody Maroney's also co-starred in movies like Benchwarmers and various TV shows as well. How did Moncarsh do it? By working with Hollywood agent Jay May, owner of Feature This. We should consider doing a little Jody Maroney's promotion with the DVD. This is Jay. Yes, is that for Warner Brothers? May knows exactly what big-time movie producers are looking for. Well, whatever is popular to the consumer would probably be popular for the film industry. Just like when plasma screens came out, they were everybody wants to get a flat screen, so did the film industry. They wanted them for their movies. It's pretty much whatever's hot is hot. What do filmmakers charge companies like Jody Maroney? Often it's absolutely nothing. Well, at least not cash. Catch the boy. The way it works is a barter or a trade with Hollywood producers like David Ornston. Are you looking for Bluetooth or wired? Whatever works for this phone. The character will be using something the like that? The character will be using this phone. Like producers like Ornston are looking for free props, free food, and other free stuff. In return, they offer companies big-time exposure in their movies. The reason production designers come to us is because we help defer the cost of making the movie. If you get somebody to to give you all your soda, all your water, all your snack food, it's going to save you tens of thousands of dollars. How did the shot go? It, it went great. Did we, you see it? Uh, yeah, it looked great. We just wrapped this morning, did 8, 8 a.m. Wrapped really? the show, yeah. Is Jody going to be happy? I think so. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> That's just how it worked a few weeks ago when Ornston's production company was shooting its latest adventure film, Lies and Illusions. <laughs> I give it to Jay, and Jay ships it to wherever it has to go. Jody Maroney's was great. They just supplied us with a ton of hot dogs for our cast and crew, and they loved it. Is this yours? It is. OK. And uh, in return, we got them in a shot, and it's a great shot in the movie we're doing right now. Yeah! Right there. That's the Jody Maroney's hot dog stand. Turn the cup around. May keeps a close eye on the presentation of his client's products. Get your finger off my logo. But is being in the background worth the hassle? Does anyone really notice? This is a way to get innumerable places where people see your name uh, way more than they ever would in uh, print or even local advertising where it, it's much more limited. Ever since Wayne's World, when they made a joke out of it. Contractor, no. I will not bow to any sponsor. There's a generation who goes to the movies with the pre- thought of, I wonder how much product placement will be in this movie. In the case of entrepreneur Danette Ward, who designed and created her own handmade purses, the Hollywood factor was huge. She was a one-person operation. She was making between three and five of these purses a month. After Legally Blonde came out, she went from three to four bags a month to 150 a month. It 
basically took her by surprise. She had to hire people to help her get it, to make her quota. And uh, so right now she's still trying to breathe because she's still spinning. But according to Ornston, business owners shouldn't waste time trying to get placement in the wrong movie. It depends on what the movie needs. If the movie's a very high tech, like, thriller, espionage, something like that, when you're going to need some high-tech computers, high-tech phones. If it's a romantic comedy and takes place in a kitchen, then you need all the stuff that you would have in a kitchen. So May and his agent spend time going through scripts to find the perfect match. We're here with Ron and Claire from Baby L.A. Hi, Hello. Hi, Christine. Hello. How are you doing? Great. How are you guys? Good. Good. New clients, Ron and Christine Eklund, are hoping to get their product for new moms into a big film. You're able to nurse and see baby, and baby can see mom. Do we have any shows presently where there's a, a woman who's breastfeeding? There are scripted scenes in the doctor's office where there are ladies with baby covers. Well, the actor gets his role in the movies usually through a, a manager or an agent, and uh, the brand gets in a movie because of his manager or his agent. It's like people only do things because they get paid. And that's just really sad. 